a KQED television production. Another umami bomb. <laughs> umami bomb. <laughs> Check, Please! Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by Total Wine & More offers over 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits with specialists on hand to provide advice on any item. Now open in Mountain View, Pleasant Hill, in Fremont. La Tour Angel Artisan Oils, French-inspired and handcrafted in Northern California. La Tour Angel creates natural, healthy cooking oils that add new flavor to everyday dishes. Sutter Health CPMC, investing in community care for more than 150 years, including two new smart hospitals. Your city, your hospital. CPMC2020.org. Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. Mattress systems from European Sleepworks, working to improve comfort and wellness for over 40 years. At Adeline and Ashby in Berkeley. Online at sleepworks.com. Natural and engineered stone, designer tiles. IRG has over 250 choices and 10,000 slabs. IRG in Brisbane and Dublin and at marblecompany.com. <laughs> Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check, Please! Bay Area, the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. Now we have three guests and each one recommends one of their favorite spots and the other two go check them out to see what they think. This week, technical trainer James McClure instructs telecommunications personnel. Without much time for lunch, he's troubleshooting by the day and wants simple solutions to tasty meal times by night. And San Francisco Opera's Valentina Simi is the music director's assistant. When the maestro is not in town, she caters to the dining whims of visiting artists. From a beautiful aria to art on her plate, her song sung with passion is food, glorious food. But first, professional tap dancer Bess Bear has toe clicked her way through the city, shuffled across the Golden Gate Bridge, and into the Guinness Book of World Records. She shim sham shimmies to her favorite neighborhood spot with stylish Fred and Ginger flair. In San Francisco, it's called Myriad Gastro Pub. I'm Trish Tracy. I'm the chef and owner of Myriad Gastro Pub in San Francisco. For me, owning a restaurant and being the chef of a restaurant is not just about the food. It's all tied together with people coming together and having an experience and letting everything else go. I chose the name Myriad because being a chef in San Francisco, we have a myriad of just everything at our disposal, from the produce to the different wines that we can get to people that are making house-made tonics and the seafood. I chose to do a globally inspired menu because I like to travel. I like to eat all different kinds of food. I like anything that's sort of big and bold and you put it in your mouth and you're like, ooh, I need another bite of that. I'm a bit of a social butterfly and a chatterbox and being the youngest of a very large family, you know, you had to sort of get out there to, to be heard and seen and, and to get food. I think I definitely bring who I am and my upbringing to the restaurant, so I'm a Jersey girl. I got my Jersey on the menu. <laughs> and there's definitely the Jersey feel in the restaurant that, hey, how you doing? People are going back to old-fashioned methods like deviled eggs and pickled vegetables and whole animal butchery. There's a reason for that because it was always good. We've sold like 20,000 deviled eggs, like kind of a ridiculous amount. People think the deviled egg is passed. Let me tell you, the deviled egg has not passed. I wanted people to feel like they came to my house and it was okay to get loud, spill a glass of wine. <laughs> you know, we like to make people feel at home. All right, Bess, I'm just, before we get to the restaurant, we just have to touch a little bit on the tap dancing. You have a stage name, don't you? Yes, I do. And what is that? Rosie Radiator. Rosie Radiator. <laughs> yeah, God, I'm named after a car part. Did you? <laughs> and Guinness Book of World Records because? Well, we hold records for tap dancing long distances. Ooh. Yeah, for many years we've held the world record. We have it at 9.6 miles. Well, and at the end of that, you're very hungry. <laughs> well, you know, I have tap danced all over this city for almost 30 years. So when I heard from my boyfriend that this restaurant on Mission Street was there and it had such an amazing menu, 
and I had to go check it out. And the first time I went in there, when I sat down, I noticed they had a deviled egg on the menu. Mm -hmm. I mentioned to my waitress that I love deviled eggs. Before I knew it, there was a deviled egg sitting in front of me. And not just any deviled egg. It had a crunchy onion thing like that made it... Crispy yeah, yeah. yeah, it was crispy. Oh, it was... It was cr oh, you remember texture. it too. Oh, I yeah. love that. Oh. Yeah. But my favorite go-to dish is the pasta with the pig cheeks. Not only is it creamy and delicious, perfectly done, but there are lovely green peas floating amongst it. Mm -hmm. And the sauces, just smooth and delicious. Was this your experience, Oh, James? yeah, and I had yeah. the pasta with... Oh, you did? Oh, it was probably the dish of the oh, night. I was like, oh, tenderness, yeah. yumminess. <laughs> <laughs> that was everything I wanted out of that <laughs> dish. And I, I actually started with a drink. They have kind of like a wine and beer bar there. Right, yeah. the cocktails are made with agave wine right. or port Things, wine. And or so or I had yeah, one right. called uh, Persephone's on Fire, mm -hmm. and it was a spicy drink, and, and it, oh, it was... It was like, I drank uh, one sip and I was like, oh, spicy. <laughs> so you could have tap danced out of that place. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Cool. Your way out. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't as adventurous. I had the sparkling wine, Ooh, yes. yeah. but my cousin had one of the cocktails and his wife had the wine flight. So they have a lot of nice variety mm -hmm. in terms of, for having no liquor license. Right, I mean, and they have a small yeah, selection it's amazing. of things. Right. I had the wedge salad. This was this huge mound of iceberg lettuce with crumpled bacon and crumpled oh, yeah. cheese and a spicy kind of Thousand Island dressing. It was mm -hmm. delicious. So after that, we went to the spicy shrimp. And I'd, I'd never had grits before or kind of polenta. <gasps> never had grits before. <laughs> and I didn't know until I actually spooned it onto my plate that, you know, there's these secret lumps oh, yeah. in the grits. And it's just this fantastic texture along with the spicy, sizzling shrimp. It was so really good. Do you get the shrimp when you go? I have not had the shrimp, oh, and I will now that you said that. <laughs> what else do you get best? Well, their burger is delicious. Their hamburger, and it's, it's grass-fed beef. Mm -hmm. It's locally farmed. The bun is like some sort of homemade bun. And they use that iceberg lettuce on that instead oh. of some weird fancy lettuce that doesn't taste like crunchy iceberg lettuce in a bun. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they have that. Well, this is the quality about this restaurant. It's food your grandmother or someone else's grandmother once made. Sure. Yeah. Okay. With this international touch of this and mm -hmm. flavor from that, but it doesn't overpower the good American basic food. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, that's true. I mean, I had, I'm a big wing guy, and so yeah. I got, I was like, oh, there's oh, wings here. Those wings. Yeah, and then oh. basically these were kind of a spicy Thai flavor to them, mm. and they were just crispy enough and just melt in your mouth flavor. Definitely order those whenever you go. And you get the pickled vegetables. <laughs> oh, when, you know, yeah. You know. Those pickled vegetables are tasty, mm -hmm. too. I mean, uh, but yeah. a lot of their, she makes a special spice that's just their own. I think mm -hmm. that they incorporate they in some of the dishes. Yeah, you oh, oh, yeah. You it can was buy it there. really, really good. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. Really homemade that. stuff. Everything had a kick to it. Kind sure. Of. Well, I particularly love the salmon. And I know it's locally caught. Mm. And you can taste mm. the freshness. Mm -hmm. What else did you order? Uh, we ordered the Brussels sprouts. They were cut up in these little pieces yeah, and chops, served with small. squash right. and cranberries. And it was like this wonderful little hash of a side dish. Wow. And if you go to your desserts, oh, the butterscotch, excuse me, whatever it is. <laughs> no, you but you know why it's so special? They don't use like syrup. They take actual butter and scotch oh, and yeah. they put them together. And even with their ginger drinks that they have, they, they make their own ginger, ginger soda. That's mm. right. They don't use syrups. Oh, that ginger soda is great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't have a sweet tooth, but we tried the ricotta zeppole. Oh wow! And um, <laughs> what I loved about the, Ooh, yeah. what I loved about them was they were really soft on the inside, but very hard and crispy on the outside. Mm -hmm. And they had a non-Italian twist to them because they were coated with cardamom. I was in heaven. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was my favorite it. thing. Yeah. On the menu, I could have and just I don't like that. sweet. Me too. <laughs> I wanted to it drink the sauce that, that I didn't dip into. Yeah. I mean, it was like bad. I wanted to lick it. I mean, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they just melt in your mouth. And they even had it like a little bit of a lemon flavor yeah. to them. And it's just yeah. like, oh, yeah, again, I keep, I keep going to that same note. But <laughs> how many hours of tap dancing do you need to get rid of that? A lot. All right, this is your spot. Give us a quick summary, Bess. If you would like food your grandma might have made with an international flair go to the gastropub. Um, a great place to try a lot of different wonderful ingredients with a fun atmosphere. Okay. A very hometown feel right on the mission and 
great place to go. Yummy is what that is. <laughs> Fantastic. If you would like to try Myriad Gastro Pub, it's located on Mission at 21st Street in San Francisco. The telephone is 415-525-4335. It's open weekdays for lunch and dinner. It's open weekends for brunch and dinner. Reservations are recommended, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $30. James recovers from a day of drinking in the beautiful, sprawling Napa Valley with a good old satisfying burger. He crams himself into the little spot named for the pint size of the original place. So prepare to squeeze in to squeeze in hamburgers. A squeeze burger with cheese, mustard. Squeeze In is kind of a break from the finer dining restaurants in the valley. It's a more casual, fun experience that people can enjoy after wine tasting or after working in the restaurant all day, working in the wineries all day. My name is Jay Bacher, owner operator of Squeeze In Hamburgers in Napa, California. So after working in restaurants from 16 all the way to 24, I decided to open Squeeze In. I felt like quick serve was, was perfect for me. Focus on one thing, keep it simple, do it really well. What's unique about the burgers here is the process. Steaming the bun, steaming the cheese. Our goal is to get it in front of you so it's still piping hot. You know, when people see the cheese for the first time. The reactions are endless. That never gets old. Customer base touches everything from 12 years old to 60, 70, 80 years old. I think that's because of the experience and it's not an everyday burger. They know that they can't eat it every day. It's something they look forward to. A tradition that's kind of started is the toothpicks on the ceiling. My best customer who has been coming in since day one started shooting them up and so eventually it just caught on and it's become one of the main attractions of dining here. I like being an escape for people. I know a lot of people come here to just have a comfort burger, comfort beer and escape their day. All right, James, you've got burgers and you got burgers, but this one's all about the cheese, isn't it? It sure <laughs> is, yeah. You know, you could go to Napa as a destination and you'll go for a weekend, maybe a Friday and a Saturday, and you need to sometimes recover from a little bit of living it up, you know? And <laughs> so one great way to do that recovery is to have yourself a nice, thick, cheeseburger and there's no better way to get it than with a squeeze with cheese <laughs> and a squeeze with cheese is a burger that looks like a ufo it has what's called a cheese skirt that goes all the way around that burger and they put a big lid on and, and maybe some ice cubes in it it melts the whole thing right around the entire burger and when you get it you go what is that and then you bite into it and go Yes, you know, <laughs> <laughs> recovery. <laughs> so everything about that burger is great. You can pull the cheese off and eat it later. I think that's like one of their trademarks, right? Sure, it is. Everybody that comes in and, and gets a squeeze of burger with cheese typically has a different um, way of tackling it. Folding the cheese inside so you can eat it all in one bite. My personal favorite, which is peel it off and it's kind of a side, and then also rolling it in the fries. You know, it literally is a place, it's a really small hole in the wall, There's not yeah. a lot of decoration. Tiny, no. But, <laughs> yeah, you're not, you're not, you're not there. there for that. Yeah, you're, you're not there you for are. the ambiance, <laughs> right. you know. Uh, I live in Napa, and it's strange to go to Napa and not go to these high-end restaurants, you know. Now, we got something that you can, you know, everyday locals can go to, and it, it's wonderful. And wonderful. did you enjoy the burger when you went, Valentina? Um, I had the veggie burger. Okay. I have to say, I was a little afraid of actually ordering the hamburger. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> afraid? Well, Why? it just, it, to me, it seemed like it was a little bit of a step up from a fast food joint, although right. it's not because they do cook everything to order. And I went with a friend. <laughs> she had the cheeseburger. I did have the cheese on my veggie burger. Oh, okay. I mean, I love cheddar cheese. It's my favorite cheese. Mm -hmm. And so that was a highlight for me. Sure. You know, I have to say it's sort of a gimmick, but it's fun. You right. know, you get there and there's cheese all over the place. Right. We ordered the onion rings, which were super crispy. Mm. And the fries were okay. okay. You know, they were just sort of not crispy. Right. They They're, weren't greasy, but right. they weren't crispy They're either. fresh cut potatoes. Yeah. I have to say, I appreciated the lack of pretense. <laughs> I was impressed by the unimpressiveness of it. 
in the sense that you couldn't hardly find it because the signage. Strip mall, right? <laughs> well, it's in a strip mall. mall, but the signage even in the strip mall you right. can't see from the right. parking lot, and you could be in there and you don't know where you are. Right. If I had a burger this big <laughs> and delicious, mm -hmm. I'd be putting my name on the wall. <laughs> okay. Because I'd want people to say, "Hey, I had this at the Squeeze In." Right. Because it was delicious burgers, mm -hmm. and I had the chicken sandwich. Oh, which, that's really good. Yeah, yeah, which again had great lettuce and pickles. Mm. My God, they had a pickle. Excuse me, but they had a pickle this big. Mm -hmm. Okay, on the burger, <laughs> it went Yummy. all the way across the burger. I love pickles. I, I mean, and it was a great pickle. And really, I mean, it was a wonderful sandwich. Right. It really was. Right. Small spot, big pickle. <laughs> you got it. It was a giant pickle. I ordered a beer. And as I was getting the beer, another patron heard me and filled me in on the history of the beer. And I thought that was so sweet. Well, it's a local crowd. Yeah. It's a younger crowd a lot of times. Right, there's right. one yeah. TV on uh -huh. the wall. And I was going to say, the game was on. Right, you can yeah. go in, you can watch sports. They have a happy hour. It's like right. maybe $2 beers during right. a happy hour. Exactly. Yeah. I actually so asked good. them if I could bring in my own bottle of wine, you know, on a Sunday. And they were like, yeah, sure, do yeah, whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. So do no it. problem, sure. drink, sure. drink away. <laughs> I was like, sweet. I decided I was gonna try something that I don't normally get. Yeah. So I decided to go with their grilled cheese. I said, you know what, I'm gonna oh, try their grilled I, cheese. I was sorry I didn't have that just because I like cheddar so much. Yeah. Right. Next time. Yeah. And you know what, it is a giant grilled cheese sandwich. It's really mm. good. Good I have value. to mention dessert at this place. They don't have any. They, they do. Oh, they're the it's it. They have oh, an entire it, freezer right. full yeah. of it's it's. Okay. And if you love it's it's like I do, <laughs> it's a great place to go. Oh, look, I'll have a cappuccino or vanilla or mint or whatever the case oh. is. Well, it's your spot. Wrap it up for us. All right. Well, if you want a real good down home feel, a local place for Napa, squeeze with cheese is where you want to get that burger. All right, and Beth? Well, I would recommend it to anyone who lives in the Napa area. It is a very affordable and delicious sandwich. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if you happen to be shopping in that mall and you want a hamburger, go to Squeeze In. All right, if you would like to try Squeeze In Hamburgers, it's located on Solano Avenue at Redwood Road in Napa. The telephone number is 707-257-6880. It's open every day for lunch with dinner Monday through Saturday. Reservations are not accepted, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is under $15. The Greek Isle of Santorini conjures up images of shimmering blue seas and Mediterranean sunshine. But what to drink in a place so perfect? Wine, of course. Santorini is famous not only for its picturesque whitewashed buildings, but also its delicious white wines. A volcanic island, the well-drained soil is ideal for growing their signature white grape variety, Assyrtiko. Trained in a unique basket style, the vines are kept low to the ground, protected from strong winds. The long sunny days and cool sea breeze nights produce dry whites with citrusy flavors and lush complexity. Both Yea and Sigales are on wine lists around the country and are companions for spicy seafood, fresh vegetables, and zesty cheeses. So get your Greek on and sip some Santorini. It's a virtual vacation in a glass. The Mediterranean menu at Valentina's Modern and Cozy Pick changes to reflect the best of each season. This neighborhood place to gather and share plates in the Cow Hollow District of San Francisco is called Terzo. Terzo is really meant to be a neighborhood restaurant. And that's what it means in Italian, the third place. And so it's a place where people were meant to hang out and have fun and enjoy occasions. My name is Lori Thomas, and I'm the owner of Terzo, which is located in Cow Hollow District of San Francisco. So there's a bar area in the front, a little more casual, and then the more regular dining room. This is a 2012. I'm Mark Gordon. I'm the executive chef here at Terzo in San Francisco. The cuisine we make here is pan-Mediterranean, so north coast, south coast of the Mediterranean, all the way around through Turkey, Portugal, and then Morocco. So the idea of having different cuisines make a very fun table with all these different flavors. It's really about being creative. I'm from the Midwest. I moved out here because the food out here is just amazing. I come in, I see what we have, and I, with my two chefs, I'm like, okay, what do we want to do today? 
and so we changed things up a lot. Being a woman, I wanted a place that women were comfortable, and, and this is a place, the lighting is great, the, the noise is great. My mom can dine here and hear everything I say. It's casual, but it's elegant. If the guest has a question, I'll go out to the table, I'll talk to them about that. I just really want them to have a great experience every time they come here. It's refined in a way, but it's still very casual and approachable by everybody. All right, Valentina. Now, that's such an Italian, beautiful name. And well, I grew up with uh, an opera singer mother, and my dad was a waiter, so there was always a lot of drama and food, <laughs> but mostly food. <laughs> and um, because my dad was a waiter, he met a lot of people in the restaurant business, and Rose Pistola opened in North Beach several years ago, and then years later, Rose's Cafe opened up in Cow Hollow, and then Terzo, which is, means third, is the third restaurant in their restaurant group. Mm. So we were at Terzo many years ago for the first time, and I have loved it every single time we go. The food is amazing. The atmosphere is, it feels upscale, but it's charming. Give us a couple go-to dishes, like <laughs> the meatballs. Come on, you gotta, you gotta well, give us some Well, the meatballs are pretty special. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, the meatballs will change your life. <laughs> okay. The meatballs come, and it, you expect, you know, this small dish with three meatballs on it, but instead mm -hmm. it's this huge, almost terrine of polenta, mm -hmm. and then in the polenta is the sauce, and then on top of the sauce very lightly are floating these amazing solid yet really super soft meatballs. Mm. You cut into them and just the flavors all start to meld together. It's a wonderful marriage in a bowl, mm. I think. I actually ordered the meatballs as well and I wasn't really as impressed you with weren't? them. Oh. But it might have been because I just had before that the scallops, oh. and the scallops were amazing. And they said, hey, you know, these came from Maine, they're ready to go. And holy moly, I loved those. They had a nice crisp outside, nice tender yeah. fork cut, mm -hmm. oh. and they melted in your oh, mouth yeah. with every single one. It's amazing. Wow. Well, oh, we yeah. had the calamari. Oh, with, I didn't try that. With I... the beans. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you would not believe it. The creamy bean and uh -huh. the calamari, warm and delicious. And I have to say, one other wonderful thing about this restaurant. When you sit down at a table with this kind of service, which was absolutely top door uh -huh. and you touch your plate and it's warm oh yeah <laughs> when your plate is warm you are warm right <laughs> and we all sat at the table and said we all now feel better about our meal right yeah. oh, you know so everything true. is homemade the hummus it's was wonderful I, I was right. expecting you know just a normal small plate but it had this nice like olive oil layer and it was another melt in your mouth uh, meal but they have a chicken dish they have a oh, skewer that's amazing mm -hmm. they have pieces of Chunks. Sort of Giant grilled chunks. bread along oh. with the chicken. That's almost better than the chicken, <laughs> the way it's prepared. Right. But my favorite thing is the grilled flank steak. Oh, we oh had my that. god. And I'm I'm not a huge meat eater, but this is amazing. Right. We need a fan. <laughs> <or something. laughs> it's seared and dark, seared on the outside, beautifully rare and juicy oh, on the sure. inside. And it yeah. comes on this bed of potato gratin oh, with wow. herbs mm. and that's my favorite thing. Tell you, yeah, the service was great too. Oh, they yeah. were really on top oh, yeah. of it. Uh, lovely people. It was, you know, the ice was melting, they would refill. Yes. Yeah. It was, <laughs> it was wonderful. And, and the wine list, what if you oh, had something to drink, yeah. that's Chef Mark's passion my, really is this mm -hmm. small, very well curated, incredibly affordable. And yes. I see a lot of wine lists and put together a I, lot of wine lists. I had a Banshee Pinot Noir mm -hmm. and it was top notch. The wines by the glass, there's such a variety mm -hmm. that I've never seen at any other restaurant. Mm -hmm. And it's not a huge list. He no, does have a little reserve he, list that you can yeah, choose from too. Exactly. Oh yeah. And not to skip to the end, but the ports after dinner. Oh, oh my gosh. Absolutely. Oh my and gosh. And they have a, a wine on the list, <sighs> uh, a Pasiti di Pantaleria. Mm. from southern Italy, from the island of Pantaleria. Beautiful, that goes with the desserts. Mm. So what about mm. those desserts? <laughs> oh anybody, anybody, wow. anybody? Go, go for it. Well, wow. I had the apple tart Ooh. with the vanilla ice cream, mm -hmm. and the crust, the dough, everything mm -hmm. is homemade. You know that they were there that morning, mm -hmm. and when the vanilla ice cream just melts, on the because mm -hmm. it's warm, and you feel like you're in a little cafe in mm -hmm. France or something. Now, speaking I of think. warm, I had the warm hazelnut cake. And that's exactly how it sounds. Warm 
hazelnut cake. <laughs> it's amazing, everything about that. And you know, everyone knew about everything. The busboy person knew what the name of the bean was right. in the salad. Yeah. Right. You could ask anybody anything, they were totally involved at every level. And the, sh wonderful. the chef actually came out and was talking yeah. to, to a lot of the group. Yeah. And I thought that was really cool and, and really personal. All right, this is your spot, Valentina. Wrap it up for us. Oh, elegant, charming, upscale, delicious. Go. <laughs> okay, best. Some of the best food in this city is in that restaurant, Terzo. It is fabulous. And James. Yeah, very tasty. If I'm in that area again, I would definitely go again. Yamo. <laughs> you would like to try Terzo. It's located on Steiner Street at Union in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-441-3200. It's open for dinner every day. Reservations are recommended. And the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $45. I want to thank my great guest on this week's show, Bess Bear, who shuffles off to Buffalo, that is a tap dance step, to her local haunt at Myriad Gastro Pub in San Francisco. James McClure's pick that supplies meaty burgers, mm -hmm. sporting a cheesy fashion statement, <laughs> at Squeeze In Hamburgers in Napa. Mm -hmm. And Valentina Simi, whose Mediterranean destination <laughs> offers a romantic date spot or one for a casual family gathering at Terzo in San Francisco. So join us next time when three new guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Check Please Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sabraco, and I'll see you then. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. All right. Salute. Chin chin. I want to hear Figaro. 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 Figaro, 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 Figaro. <laughs> I'll drink to that. So now it's your turn. We want to hear from you if you visited any of our Check Please restaurants. You can post a selfie on Instagram, join the conversation on Facebook, and tweet us anytime. And don't forget to visit our website. All the shows are there, along with my wine videos and notes about the wines we drink on set. You'll also find our fun new web series, Taste This, where we celebrate food and drinks around the Bay. Cheers. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... IRG has in-trend surfaces, quieter marbles, and rare exotics. Over 10,000 slabs in stock today. IRG in Brisbane and Dublin and at marblecompany.com. Mattress Systems from European Sleepworks, working to improve comfort and wellness for over 40 years. At Adeline and Ashby in Berkeley. Online at sleepworks.com. Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. Sutter Health CPMC, 7,000 employees, nurses, and physicians caring for their communities every day. Your city, your hospital. CPMC2020.org. La Tour Angel Artisan Oils, French-inspired and handcrafted in Northern California. La Tour Angel creates natural, healthy cooking oils that add new flavor to everyday dishes. Total Wine & More offers more than 8,000 wines from around the world and more than 2,500 beers, including hard-to-find seasonal brews and imports. Now open in Mountain View, Pleasant Hill, and Fremont.